Hello, uh, I'm back. So uh, yeah, so this is going to be part two of uh, my introduction to Comcare uh, series. Part one seemed to go okay, so I'm going to try recording uh, recording this. Um, if you missed part one, basically I set up uh, an application here uh, that will allow me to uh, manage activities. So I've I've added a few activities here: hiking, running, and surfing. Um, these are the things that I uh, enjoy doing during my sabbatical and the things I want to track. Um, and now I want to, you know, it's not very useful to just make these things. Um, so now I want to start tracking events. Um, so when I actually go out and do these things. Um, and so to do that, uh, I'm going to add a new module here. Um, and again, I'm going to make this uh, a case list. I want to I want to track these events over time. And so I'll just wait for that to load. Um, cool. So we can see Comcare has again made uh, this sort of stub module here um, with, with a registration form and, and a follow-up form. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is actually delete this registration form uh, because I'm not going to be uh, registering these events here, um, and I'll, I'll explain that in, in a moment. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Um, the second thing I'm going to do uh, is change the case type. So um, by default, Comcare, th Comcare thought I wanted to, to continue working with my activities. Um, I don't. I want to use a, a different case type, so I'm going to use uh, this event case type. Um, so I'll, I'll save that. I'll actually um, change this case, case list name for clarity. Um, so we'll call this the event case list for now. Um, cool. And so I've got this follow-up form in here. Um, this is going to be where I edit uh, events. Um, and so yeah, so I think that the things that I'm going to do with my events, I want to um, have a date when I did that thing. Uh, so maybe this edit form, and I'm kind of going doing this a little bit backwards, but maybe this, this edit form will allow me to edit the date. Uh, so I'll set a new date uh, in the edit form. And I'm, I'm actually just doing this right now because otherwise, uh, if there's no questions in here, Comcare will give me an error when I try to preview the application. Um, but now that I've added a question here, it, it won't give me an error. So that, that, that's the only reason I, I kind of went in and did that. Um, cool. So to link my activities and my events, uh, I'm going to use uh, another uh, cool feature of Comcare called child cases. So child cases let you um, track a parent and a child and kind of have them linked. So uh, obviously the the most common usage of this is for actual children. Um, in Comcare, you register a pregnant woman, and then she gives birth, and then you want to track that baby. Uh, so you, then you register a child, um, and you can associate that mother with that child. And so then when you're going and visiting her, um, it's easier to, to sort of have all that information together. The person just finds the name of the mother and can see all their children there, et cetera. Um, so I'm going to use that same pattern for this event action uh, paradigm. Uh, activity, sorry, then activity. So I'm going to make a third case list here. Uh, and so this uh, case list is going to be for creating act, uh, events. These, these words are a little bit confusing. Um, so I'm going to say new, I'm going to call this the create event module. And these are not very good names, um, but that's fine. And so you'll see the case type here is activity, which, which might be a little bit counterintuitive. Um, and this actually trips me up when I uh, first attempted the screencast and, and kind of got in, down a confusing path. But uh, to actually, so to make a child case, um, the case type of the module actually has to be um, the parent case type. So in this case, since the events are going to be children of the activities, um, 
the case type of the module is is going to remain activity even though it's the create event module. Um, hopefully that makes sense. It's a little bit strange. Um, and now I'm going to go to the register form. Um, and so these this register form and the follow up form these are these are convenience forms that that Comcare is putting in here to kind of help get me started. Those were really useful um, when I did my first uh, activity module um, in the first lesson, but um, they're just defaults, and and so in fact, forms can can do all sorts of things. Um, and in this case, uh, I'm going to say that I want this form to register a case for a different case list. Um, and so uh, I'm going to add a child case, um, and I'm going to to do it for the event case list. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any, uh, I haven't made my form yet. So uh, I might not be able to do that. And first I have to go add some questions to the form. So remember now I'm, I'm in the form that I want to use to make new events. So like a, an individual time that I, that I go running or, or go surfing. Um, so things that I might want to know. So I might want to know the event date. That sounds useful. Um, maybe I want to know how long it took. Event duration in minutes, hours, minutes. Um, maybe I want to know, uh, you know, event score. Maybe I want to, you know, rate how well I did. So maybe I'll make this a number from 1 to 10. Um, and, uh, and this might be a good time to just show you how I would enforce that this is a number between 1 and 10. Um, so let's, well, I'm not going to do that now. But, but maybe in the future. I will go ahead and do that. But for now, I'll just save this. Um, and let's go back to the case management section, um, which I've opened in a new tab here. And now that we've got some questions in the form, uh, I can go back and do this register case for a different case list. I can create my uh, events case. Um, and for now, let's just name the case according to um, the event date. Um, and let's also add uh, an event date property to the case. This is a little bit redundant, but if I ever want to change the name format, uh, I want to make sure I have this property available um, since I imagine that date is what I'm going to use for reporting and other things. Um, and I'm actually going to just make case properties for all of these things, um, event date, event duration, event score. Um, that sounds good. Cool. So I've got my register uh, form here that I'm going to use to make new events. Uh, I'm going to change this to the new event form. Just so that's clear. Um, Comcare made this follow-up form for me uh, where I'll be able to edit. Uh, well, actually, it would be editing activities um, since this is uh, a module of type activity. I don't think I need this, so I'm just going to delete it. Um, OK. Cool beans. So let's check out how this looks on the phone now. Um, and hopefully I set everything up right. So manage activities, we remember. Um, that's, that's where I can go in and, and add new activity types. Um, the event case list is going to have this, that follow-up form over here that I made. Uh, I haven't made any events, so I'm not going to see any, any events available to select. Um, but and now I've got this create event module where I can make a new event. Um, it 
it's not asking me for an activity, which is surprising to me. Um, I would have expected it to, but let me try putting in some data and then we'll get to the bottom of fixing that problem. Okay, so I did make the event. You can see it, that event is now here um, in the event case list. Um, but I don't think it got associated with the activity. Um, I could go check the case list to confirm that, um, which maybe I'll do just, just for the sake of it. But since I didn't select an activity, I think there's no way that it, that it did. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to search this for my username again. Um, cool. So if you watch the first tutorial, we've got these three dead cases that I'm not going to worry about. We've got the three new activities that are the good ones. And now we've got this event. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to open up this event. I'm going to do it in a new tab. I do everything in new tabs and yeah, so it's got the case properties here, um, so that's good. But if it was a child case of the activity, there would be a new tab showing up here that would show me uh, related cases. So, so I know that didn't work. Um, so let's let's try to figure out why that didn't work. So I, I imagine that it's um, it's got to be something to do um, with the case management of of this of this register form. So. Uh, I'm going to open that up. And so I, I said register is a case for a different case list. Um, I think maybe it uh, also needs to update or close a case to do that. Um, so, so I'm going to say updates or closes a case. I think this is just kind of one of those quirks that you have to learn. Um, Save questions to case properties. Uh, I don't actually want to save any questions, so I'm maybe I'll maybe I'll add this event date, and I'll so on my activity case I can say uh, last oops, last event date. So this will save. Every time I add an event, it will save, it'll overwrite the last event date case on the act, property on the activity. Um, that might be interesting. Uh, I, I'm doing this because actually I'm not sure I, it might be necessary in order to, to actually have Comcare do the, the parent child workflow. Um, and so. And it says it's opening a child case now, so I, I'm just going to try this again and, and see if it, it now prompts me to um, to select uh, a activity type first. So let's go to the create event module again. Yeah, cool. So now it's saying, okay, which activity do I want to pick? Uh, so I went running today, so I'm going to choose that. I'm going to go into new events. Uh, that is today. I probably ran for about 45 minutes. It was a good run. I'll give it a eight. Cool. Um, so now what I want to do is uh, refresh this report so that I can see the, the latest event that I just added. Um, and I want to check, so I think it's this one. And now I want to check whether it actually was made uh, a child case. And we can see it's got this related cases tab. So that's exciting. And now we can see this, this hierarchy. So the running case now, running activity uh, now has this um, this June 6th event inside of it. Um, the other thing we can see if we want is I can go to the running activity itself. Um, and here, now this related cases has popped up here as well. Um, and so we can see these events. So now, you know, uh, let's see, I 
Uh, I ran yesterday as well. Um, so let's record that. So yesterday it was a longer run. I think it was about an hour. Um, and it was also good, also an eight. So I'll just wait for that to submit. Cool. And so now, uh, going back to the running case, and I'm just refreshing this page. Now we see, yeah, so then now there's two events associated with this. There's the June 5th and the June 6th. Um, yeah, so that is child cases in, in a very, very brief nutshell. Um, I'm going to stop it there. Uh, and yeah, glad that worked out. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.